Hi guys and welcome back to my channel at home Michelle and to another declutter video. Today is the big one. <laughs> it's something that I've probably been putting off for a while so if you've seen my previous videos you'll know that I'm doing a bit of a declutter. I'm following a decluttering checklist. I'll put it up where basically at the start of the year I went around the house and just made a list of all the rooms or areas that I wanted to declutter and then I'm just tackling them one by one just so I can make the house um, a bit more organised. Hopefully cleaning will be quicker, easier and my mantra for this year is that if everything has a home then it should remain a lot cleaner and yeah easier to clean so that's kind of what I'm going with and today is the kitchen organization which I've been putting off for ages even this morning I've been massively procrastinating about doing it but I just need to get on and do it it's not horrendous um but it's definitely going to take me a while so hopefully you do enjoy this video if you do then please give it a thumbs up and if you are new I would love for you to subscribe I've done quite a lot of other decluttering videos um, and I've got everything that I feel like I need now. So if you'll have seen my other video, I did an Ikea haul, got a few bits in there, some bits from B&M as well. So I feel like I've kind of got everything and now I just need to get on and do it. So yeah, let's get on and declutter the kitchen. This is what the kind of snack and cereal drawer currently looks like. So it's not too bad. There's a bit of organisation going on in there, but I just need to sort it out a little bit better and then down here is like the tin cupboard so I got this tin organisation thing a while ago which actually is really good but I just need to sort out some other bits in there and then yeah kind of sort out up here where the slow cooker but actually this side of the kitchen mm. isn't that bad. I'm not going to do the under sink today I'm going to leave that for another day I'm just going to focus on the cupboards but that's what the under sink looks like. Then just moving around to the cupboards up here. So these are kind of bottles, glasses, um, medication type bits down here. So the glasses have just all got jumbled. I just need to sort through what I actually need. I've got some new glasses to put in there. Sort out what bottles and stuff we don't use anymore. And then this side again, there's a little bit of order in there, but it just needs um, a good clean and a bit more organization in there. Then moving to this side, this spice cupboard isn't actually that bad. I just need to take it out, give it a good clean and reorganise it into order again. But yeah, that's not kind of too bad. And then this side has just got really messy in here. So this is the kind of tea, coffee, cups cupboard. Again, I just need some better organisation in there. Moving down here to the plate. So this bit isn't too bad. These are basically the plates and bowls we use most of the time. But then down here, we generally don't use any of this and it's just so messy and then moving on to the drawers these are horrendous so this is the cutlery drawer desperately need sorting that out the next drawer this has just got really messy no organization in there whatsoever that needs sorting out and again the bottom drawer it's got loads of pans and i don't really know what's in there to be honest so again need to sort that out and then moving along here this is the dreaded tupperware yeah this is a tupperware storage drives me insane so need to organize this i've got kind of gravies and stocks and that kind of thing in here and then this is oils this isn't too bad but i just need to take it all out give it a good clean just try and organize it a little bit better and then next to this is the i suppose kind of baking section half of this is probably off date i hardly ever bake to be honest i <clears throat> need to sort through all of that and then here is more baking stuff so like flour ice and sugar that kind of thing not too bad um but could probably just organize in there a little bit better and then moving on to kind of cookware bakeware this drives me insane it's so hard to get everything out of here so i'm going to have a really good sort out on here i've got some more pans it's filthy from when i've cleaned the oven as well so it needs a really good clean and again just better organisation. This cupboard as well is just a bit of a, I don't really know, it's just a miscellaneous cupboard. So I need to organise that a lot better. And then this kind of taller cupboard here is generally where I keep pastas and stuff, which isn't too bad. Um, again, I just need to go through it and see actually which pastas that I do use. Um, and yeah, that one shouldn't take too long, hopefully. And then the last cupboard is on top of the oven again i don't really know what's in here just a bit of everything <laughs> like jugs boards um you know dip bowls that kind of thing 
So if I get time, I will also try and sort that one out. So I've decided I'm going to start with this one because it's not too bad, so I will ease myself in. Right, do you want to put, help Mama put things on there then? Right, I'll pass you things. I'm just going, to, just going to use my mini dustpan and brush. All the cupboards using this Purdy and Fig um, cleaning spray. It's actually really good because all you do is you get some like, oils with it and then you just mix it with water and it smells amazing. When you clean, it makes your house smell like a spa. Honestly, it's so refreshing. You get loads of different flavours as well. I'm just going to clean all the cupboards. change the contents of I'm just going to put new labels on them so I know what it is so this is just the Dymo label maker it's so handy just for making sure you stay organized and knowing what everything is I think it was around 15 pounds from Amazon um, but you get all the you know all the this with it as well yeah. and then you can just do them like this so I've just done also now I'm just going to stick that down One cupboard down, only about another 10 to go. <laughs> I got this food packet organiser from B&M. This was only four pounds, so I'm thinking that this will be really good to organise like all the packets and like lasagna sheets and things like that in. Next up is the cupboard that's under the cooker. So you can see this has got a bit dirty from last time I cleaned the cooker. So I need to first of all give it a good clean. And then I have bought loads of new saucepans as well because some of these saucepans I've had for over 20 years and they've just, yeah. I mean, I think I've got one left of the set and the others just aren't that great anymore. So I've bought some new saucepans. They're a stackable one as well. So I'm just going to try and get this a little bit more organized as well.
So these are the saucepans that I got delivered from, I got these from Amazon because they were on offer there. Um, but they're the tea fowl stackable ones. So I'm just going to get them out and then, yeah, I'll show you. But basically, so they, they've got, you get a few lids with them. So I can't remember the, I think I've got the 13 piece set and then you just get a handle, which is basically interchangeable. But then these can go in the fridge, the oven, but obviously on the hob as well. So yeah, I thought they'd be quite handy. This is the set of saucepans that I've got. So you can see there are six in here. So you've got a mixture of kind of like milk pans, bigger saucepans. You've got like a kind of omelette pan here. Then you've got a wok, a bigger, a bigger saucepan, and then a large frying pan at the bottom. And then what you do is you get a couple of handles with them. And then you just kind of pop that like that pop that on there and then you use a handle so rather than having handles on all of them that take up loads of room you just need to get two you just get two detachable handles that you can use and then these can go in the fridge the oven the hob everything because then obviously you don't need to worry about the handle it also comes with a couple of food kind of cover things on there as well so if you want to pop things in the fridge then you can just put that on or if you're freezing anything they can, can go in the freezer as well and then you get three lids because i do find that actually you don't need lids for most things and you know especially like the saucepans and things so you get three lids that can easily be stacked on top of each other and then that's like that so it easily goes off so yeah but how good is that they hardly take up like any room compared to if you had six normal saucepans and frying pans so now I've got the new saucepans, I can pretty much get rid of most of this because, yeah, I don't need them anymore. I mean, this is completely broken as well. So I won't use that anymore, I won't use that. These are lids for other saucepans that I don't even know where they are. Or they might be in this drawer, actually. So that drawer will be pretty much freed up. Um, again, bowls, do I need two bowls? Not really. So I'll need one glass bowl and then one plastic one. That is a dish that needs washing anyway. But all these saucepan lids won't need these. Uh, I might keep this big one actually because maybe this in there. It still takes quite a lot of room there. I'm not sure on that yet. I will see if that takes up quite a lot of room. Again, these, one of these is for that. In fact, I think one of these smashed, so I don't know why I've even kept the. Right, so that goes. Does that go on there properly? I think so. That's on there. That's on there. These, I don't even think I have the bowls for them anymore. <laughs> so they've smashed, they can go. So most of this can actually go, and then this is all okay, this is okay, that can go. Pie dish, we'll keep that. And then these I've bought to put on the side of the kitchen cupboard to hang the, let me just show you what I mean. So they're like to hang the lids on so they're like a pot rack so if you put them on the kitchen cupboard then i'll be able to put the lids on there I got this, um, I completely forgot actually, I got this stand for pans, like for, not for pans, for saucepan lids. So you just pop the saucepan lids in here, like so. And you can obviously have it different kind of widths and stuff. I was thinking, ideally it needs to go there. So I just need to have a little bit of a play around here. Let me show you a place where you
So you can see now how much better they fit in there and then there's enough room here to move things backwards and forwards and then I've got room up here just to put my bowls and stuff. Much better. I'm quite pleased with how it looks in there now and hopefully it's quite functional and will actually stay that way. The only other thing that I've got to put back in here is this. So this um, used to sit, I can't remember, it was either there or here, but I think I'm going to put it on this one. So it sits in there and then in that one you can put all of your um, like foils and that kind of thing. So it's just a really handy oh, way. I'll yeah. keep my foils and bin bags in there. Um, but the back had come undone, so I'll just put some command stickers on there. So I'm just going to stick that back on and use that. is next Like, I am no expert, but I don't know if you can see the top of that. That's bread flour. That is not good, is it? <laughs> I think that needs to go away. What I might do, actually, is when I put new things in these, I think I'm going to put the date on it, so then I know, because I have no idea how long this has been in here. To be honest, I haven't made bread since lockdown, so it's been in here quite a while, and that does not look good, does it? As I get stuff out the cupboard, Nick's just going through it so we can decide what we want. Um, I've got these containers. So these are two non-slip containers with handles on. These are both from B&M. And these can fit perfectly in here. And then I'll just put my, these at the back. So I'll probably put flour at the back here, sugars and stuff at the bottom. And then I can fill these with any baking stuff. But to be honest, like I mentioned, I haven't baked, I don't bake very often. Um, and a lot of it's gone off. So hopefully this cupboard will look a lot, lot better. I've just sorted out all of the cookie cutters. So I had loads of cookie cutters just randomly in here. So anything to do with like letters, baking, all the cookie cutters and then label that cookie cutters. <laughs> so I'm just going to put that at the bottom of here and then I've got these that, this was all the stuff that I needed to keep kind of baking wise, so I put these in here. There's so much more space in here now. So all I've got in here is just some tea bags until I know where to put them. And then this is normally where our eggs go. I'm just going to put them in, but obviously we've normally got more eggs and then I might get some kind of egg storage to go in there, but much more organized. So next up we need to do this cupboard, which is our dreaded kind of oils and then we have all the Tupperware down here that I need to sort out um, but I've decided here I'm going to get some of those that I just put all of the baking stuff in the ones with the handles in there Are you copy of me <laughs> um, so we're just going to pop to B&M now get some more storage bits because I've ran out and then come back and sort this cupboard and then that will probably be the last one that I do because yeah it's taken me so much longer than I anticipated so far today I'm back from B&M now and I picked up a couple more of these organisers. So I'm just going to organise this kind of oil and Tupperware bit now. So I'm thinking if I put these, 
kind of put the long hair with all the oils and stuff in and then the Tupperware don't really know what I'm going to do with yet because I might actually organize some of that and put it in the drawer I was going to finish after this cupboard because yeah I need to get a dinner <laughs> soon um but I might just do this one and then that drawer and then the rest of the kitchen will come in a part two <laughs> most of this stuff i do use quite a lot so i just need to kind of sort it out really um i did attempt some organization so don't obviously have to buy organizing tubs you can see here i've used like the fairy pods um the boxes that they come in and they're quite handy actually just to reuse things dinner is so i really need to get on with dinner now so and to do the tupperware i'm going to have to also do the bottom drawer and organize all of that so i think that i'm going to have to do that tomorrow and then i will show the rest of the kitchen so i've still got all the drawers to do the plates the cupboards at the top the snack cupboard and everything as well so yeah still got lots to do and get on with so i'll film that in a part two so hopefully you've enjoyed this video and it's given you some ideas on how to organise a kitchen. If you have liked it then please give it a thumbs up and hopefully I'll see you next time. As always, thank you so much for watching. Bye!